Hey there fellow gamers, Kevin J Gaming here giving you some more Skies of Arcadia Legends. In the last episode, Vice woke up on this uninhabited island, and Aka and Fina woke up in a very inhabited, very luxurious, lovely, uh, pink ship with a blue pirate named, or a blue rogue named, uh, Clara. And they are separated, and we're trying to, you know, survive. So, anyway... In this episode, we gotta find some firewood for Vice, so he can start a fire on this island, even though we saw him clearly have a fire in the last episode. But, I mean, whatever. Um, I don't remember there being too much firewood to collect. It tells you how much you need. Or, like, Vice's text. Pretty much explains what you need. This one's nice and dry. There's more here than I thought. Well, Vice, you found three so far. There's one over here, isn't there? I swear there was like one hidden back here or something. Be careful of that. I've gotten stuck in there a couple of times. There's one right here. If we can just find two more, we can start a fire. So we need two more. I'm not sure where they are, though. We'll just run around. Find them eventually. I don't want to think they're in any weird spots. They're generally, like, pretty visible. Just need one more. gonna adjust the camera a lot. There it is. This should be enough to build a decent sized fire. Well, I have enough firewood to last me a while. It looks like it's gonna rain soon. I should call it quits for today. Well, it was my fourth day on this island and I'm really starting to miss sailing. I suppose I... I suppose I just have to think of this as some sort of vacation and deal with it. On the fifth day... On the fifth day, it rained. It sucked. Look at this ugly rain. Signal fire is going, oddly. Well, it's been raining all day. I guess I won't get much done. I'll just rest for now. I don't just want to sit around all day hoping for a ship to pass by. I wonder if I can fix the lifeboat from the little jack. It would be pretty useful to fix that lifeboat. I mean, it is a way to get around. It rained all day. I spent most of my day resting in the cave. This is my fifth night on the island. First thing tomorrow, I'll try to fix the lifeboat. Now here we are on the sixth day. Another good night's rest. It actually does feel good to take a break from fighting monsters. Well, I better get started on fixing the boat. Since this island has been deserted for a while, there should be some moonstones lying around. The rain probably unearthed a whole bunch of them. Cutscenes in this game are so are so well done considering it's Dreamcast. I mean the panning camera, the walking. Here's one, but I'll need more than one to fly the, to the next island. The time of, time to look for some more. So we're gonna want to find a whole bunch of moonstones now. That's what we're looking for. This one right here. If it didn't rain, I probably wouldn't have found any of these. Well, exactly, Vice. I like how the game sort of describes its own story and how it works. You don't really question anything. So right over here, there's another one. Here's another one. I'm lucky this is a deserted island, or else these moonstones probably would have been found a long time ago. It's hard to believe that there's a deserted island, considering how little towns there are. Although, I guess you could, like, argue, oh, the rains of destruction population in this area is so in this world is so scarce oh here's one it's a red moonstone which means I'm probably somewhere near Nazar you should have noticed from the red moon as well vice if you don't if you don't remember there's one up by your signal fire one more will probably be enough so we got to find one more just one more uh, Moonstone. I think the only area I really haven't explored is right here. I was just mashing A. Last one. Man, I'm so lucky that there are plenty of Moonstones on this island. Vice, you are pretty lucky. I will give you that. These Moonstones haven't been processed yet. They may not give much power, but it should be enough to power this little lifeboat. 
It looks like I'll finally make it off this island. I started working on the lifeboat. This island is full of trees, so I won't have to worry about running out of materials. Eating the food that I saved up, I spend the next few days hard at work on the boat. One week passed. Whoa. Alright, that should just about do it. I'm finally going to be able to get off this island tomorrow. What? Right after he finishes the lifeboat. A ship! Hey! <laughs> I couldn't have come a little bit earlier. I wouldn't have spent all this time working on the lifeboat. What an interesting looking boat. Yes, they saw me. Well, looks like I'm finally getting off this rock. Yeah, after he finally finishes the lifeboat. Captain Gilder! Ugh, not again, Lola. Let me sleep a little bit longer. Captain! Uh, Captain? You need to wake up! Huh? Uh, oh. We just picked up a boy stranded on a deserted island. He says that he's been there for two weeks. Judging by the way he's dressed, he's probably an air pirate. He looks like he's about 17. He's pretty much still a baby. Oh baby, oh baby! He's a lucky kid. He was only stranded for two weeks. But if it was me, I would have been stuck on an island without any women for two whole... But if it was me and I was stuck on an island without women for whole two weeks, I'm not sure I would have made it. So, you're the guy that was stranded. Hmm, and you're dressed like an air pirate. What's your name, kid? I'm Vice. Thank you for saving me. Are you the captain of this ship? Yes, I am. Just call me Gilder. 
The ship's name is Claudia, and this beast on my shoulder is Willie. Come to the bridge. I want to hear about your adventures. <laughs> You've defeated three of the Armada's admirals and escaped from the Grand Fortress? I like you, Vice. I wouldn't expect anything less from an air pirate. Personally, I'm constantly searching for adventure. Treasure, brawls, and women. There are tons of things in this world that would make me happy. Women are like sunsets. They're beautiful, but there will be a different one tomorrow. That's my motto. That's a little messed up. How can you be a captain with an attitude like that? <laughs> You're right. But, strangely enough, here I am, commanding my own ship. What about yourself? Are you battling Valua and chasing Rocknam all over the world? You're not the type to settle down, either. So you've been away from your ship for two weeks, right? I'll bet you really miss sailing. Go ahead. Take the wheel. Take the wheel. What? Really? You'll let me? I don't care. Anyone who's accomplished what you have knows his way around a ship. The Claudia's a little on the sensitive side, but I'll let you get the hang of her in no time. But you'll get the hang of her in no time. I'm heading to Nazrat. It's the capital of Nazar, due south from here. If you get lost, just look at the map and we'll get your bearings. Alright, let's go. Gilder has joined our party. He is the sort of the second member of Vice's group, because he's by himself. But he's the fifth party member we have. So we're heading due south from here. Here's the deserted island. You can actually go back on it if you want. But there's no real reason to. Anyway, um, let's go talk to this ship, just because I'm curious. Uh, no, that's the Guidestone. We've seen that. Let's talk to this. We are the Nazar Air Guard. Our prim primary responsibility is to defend Nazrat from invaders. In order for the Valu and Armada to invade us, they'll have to go through the Strait. The Daniel Strait is where they're going to go through it. Have I gotten this discovery before? I don't, I don't want to think I have. No, I haven't. Okay. The Map of Ages. What once used to be a grand map of the skies carved into a beautiful stone tablet is now a water-worn, crumbling slab of rock. It is said the map is but a portion of the original, but nobody knows what keeps it afloat. So that's a little interesting. I'm gonna grab these fish. Got a good chunk of them, actually. Anyway, I'd, I wanted to get into a fight here really quick because I wanted to show you what Gilder's weapon is. We're not facing too much here. These are greens, right? That's a green, the other one's blue. Gilder here uses a gun. Yes, he uses a gun. Um, I'll probably give him, you know what, I will give him uh, a finishing, uh, a super move. Because he doesn't have one right now. And we do have a Moonberry on us, so we can give him one. That's right, he's got a gun. <laughs> he just shoots people. Literally shoots the enemies. Literally shoots them. And of course we miss. That's good. Um, you can just use Pyre. What spells does he know? He knows Increm, which is all I really wanted. He knows Silenus, which is fine. And he does know Drilm, which none of us have that yet. Drilm uh, will lower uh, attack and defense of an enemy. It's basically a reverse Increm. Anyway, we're going to attack with him again just because it's fun to attack with him. Really? You know Sacro? <laughs> well, that's a pain in the butt. That heals the user and his entire team. So that's great. You got all your health back. I'm, I'm, I'm glad for you. Bang! Gun right in the face. That thing has more health than this big old thing over here. That's interesting. Anyway. Bam! Well, that doesn't hurt the, the friggin' thing there. Ah, you don't don't go for that, you meanie. Anyway, I'm gonna hit him, and then you're gonna hit the Kinesi as well. Then it just runs away. Well, that's exciting. Anyway, yeah. And then you miss. Wow, this fight's going pretty poorly. And then it runs away. We don't even get any experience for not even finishing them off. That was easy. It was very easy, Vice. They ran away. I don't even think they hit us. I think the Scorpon hit one of us. They did give us the magic experience, though, which is nice. Anyway, Nazrat is right over here. And as we can see, we're, we're almost there, so... Captain! Captain, there's a suspicious-looking ship heading straight for us. It's coming in fast, and it's pink! What? I wonder... Oh, no. 
Oh no. <laughs> there you are, my love. I can't play hard to get forever. You can't play hard to get forever. My heart belongs to you. <sighs> yep, it's Clara, all right. Hmm, in some ways, she's even more frightening than the Armada. Okay, here's the plan. Vice, you and I are going to take a lifeboat to Nazrat, and my crew will sail my ship in the opposite direction as a decoy. What do you say? Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan? Um, okay, you're the captain. Is it alright for you to leave your ship? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Titles mean nothing to me. And I told you earlier, didn't I? I'm always searching for adventure. All right, everyone, time for Operation Clara. You know the routine. Catch up with us later. Aye, aye. So the Claudia and the... I forget what, what uh, Clara's ship was. Haha, <laughs> works every time. All right, Vice, let's head south. Let's see what kind of fun Nazrad has to offer. The area where we were on the map, actually, I'm going to show you where we were on the map. Because I never actually did that. Oh, well, now we can't. Never mind. I have some personal stuff to take care of first. You go on to the inn and rest up. I'll catch up with you later. I don't mind traveling separately, but what is it with you do... What is... What is it you need to do exactly? I need to stop by the tavern for a bit. There's a few women there that will be happy to see me. Don't wait up. See ya. Well, that's Gilder for you. That's our new pal. He just wants women. I mean, it's not its not your typical RPG if there isn't some women-loving guy, right? Anyway, Gilder's level 24. He's actually a little bit higher leveled. I'm quickly going to go here, and he's going to learn a super move called Gunslinger. Gunslinger's a pretty interesting move. Uh, it's kind of like Alpha Storm, except it does a lot more damage. Anyway... So, we're here in Nazrad. Do you think we'll run into Aka and Fina? Maybe. We, we know they're here. I mean, us, the fourth wall, us observers, know that they're here. Welcome. This is 240 Golden Knight. Would you like a room? Yes. Vice has all the money, so... You can use the room at the top of the stairs on the second floor. I hope you sleep well. well it's funny how Aka and Fina are the one right next door to us. This looks like the room. I guess I'll just have to wait for Gilder here. <laughs> it's payday! Working as a waitress has actually been more fun than I thought. <laughs> I... I never worked for gold before. It's, it's rather exciting, actually. There's Vice's room! And there goes Aka and Vina! Ah... <sighs> You gotta have that, you know, exciting, exciting moment. But anyway, I think we're gonna have to end the episode here. So, next time on Skies of Arcadia Legends, Aka's gonna collect her pay. And yeah, that's pretty much all we're gonna do. We're gonna collect our pay. We're gonna try to have fun. Yeah. Anyway, see you guys all later. Thanks for tuning in.